All right, hello folks. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be actually looking at someone else's build. So 50 Cal Chicken, a good friend of mine on simpleplanes.com has created this uh, aircraft carrier over here that you can see in the distance. And so we're gonna be messing around with that a little bit and having some fun, seeing if we can land on it, maybe destroy it. And I also think I'm gonna do some scaling and see if I can make this larger because right now it's big it's very large but I think it'd be cool to see if I can make it even larger okay so we have the Santa's flying car from for my Christmas build I don't know why I'm using this but I guess it has fairly good low speed control which is good for landing on ships oh yes that is very satisfying Okay, so here we come. Uh, this does not have a place for a carrier landing hook to be the cables, you know, to catch the hook. So you just have to land with normal brakes and everything. So this is going to be slightly tricky. Oh boy. Okay, well, we did it <laughs> with barely enough space to spare. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Although, wait a second, is this thing leaning? <laughs> I think it is leaning. Whoa, what? What just happened? It just, <laughs> it just disappeared. I have no idea what, what just happened there. All right, next we'll be taking out the helicopter. I know this will be able to land on it fairly easily. But then again, I'm rather inexperienced in flying helicopters, so... Right, I kind of went way too high, but that's fine, we'll just float down. There we go, a little bit bouncy, but we have landed and hopefully it won't disappear on us this time. All right, well, let's see if we could, how easily, how easy this thing is to, to destroy. How, how good of a uh, kind of destruction model it has. Okay, we're in position here. So we'll try a little bit of uh, minigun. Okay, we removed... We removed a piece. Oh, I think it may already be sinking. Hit it with some... Okay, well, the the rockets actually don't do too much to it, surprisingly. This minigun seems to... Oh, yep, there it goes. We'll get this last little piece over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Saved it. So, yeah. You can definitely take it out. But it holds up pretty well, seemingly. Especially even to rockets, which I would expect would do more damage, actually. Okay, well, now let's test out the capabilities with a slightly larger plane. Can this plane land on it? Now, this is a plane I've actually not shown yet, but... 
it's a work in progress. I've been kind of procrastinating and not finishing it, but it's mostly done. It just needs an interior, but it's pretty cool. This video is not about supposed to be about the, my my builds though, but yeah, it's a lot larger than some of the other stuff we've been testing. So I'll be interested to see if it's capable of landing. Okay. So we're going kind of fast, but we're coming in. Uh-oh. I think I may be a little too high. Okay. Oh. Okay, we touched down, but will we be able to slow down in time? Boy, it's bumpy. <laughs> it's very bumpy, but we did it. Just barely. Wow, that's impressive. That this was able to land on here. Yeah, this is pretty big. Pretty big deck. Although, look at this, it's leaning pretty badly, the front end. I don't know if it has... Uh-oh. And there we go. Sliding off. By the way, there's what the underside looks like. Okay, so I'm actually going to see if... I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to see if I can scale this whole thing up even more. Because it's already massive. Obviously, it was built, I'm sure, at a smaller scale and then scaled up. Because it'd be impossible to build, because this is full zoomed out. You can see how tiny the little, like, building area is. And so you can't even access these parts way over here. But, so if we go to scale tool, we can scale up everything and we should be able to just select a value like maybe twice as big just like that height width and length and and then if we uncheck this box select scale only selected parts that'll select it'll basically be effectively scaling everything all the parts without having to select all of them manually because that takes forever so then if we hit scale, oh my, I think it worked. I think it worked. It just got even more massive. I mean, look at this. Look at this thing. Okay. <clears throat> well, this may take a while. Something this large apparently even takes a while just to save. But yeah, sorry I have not uploaded exactly on time. I just didn't really have the motivation to make a video. That happens sometimes. But thankfully today I did. Alright, well, it's been a few minutes and it's still not saving. It's still not even doing anything. So that's a slight concern. I think the larger that you make a build, the more exponentially long it takes to load and save and do stuff to basically just to process. Because not only is it having to calculate being twice as long and twice as wide and everything, but it would basically be two cubed because the volume is increasing. So it'd be more like eight times as long to load than with it the original size. And I try when I saved it the original time, it did take like a minute to save. So in theory, this may take eight minutes. I don't even know, the game might just crash before that happens. <laughs> Alright, well after a few minutes, not sure exactly how many that was, I'll have to check in editing. It, yeah, it looks like it did finally save. Alright, the trusty Aerobat M5. This came out many years ago. But it still works. Alright, oh, this thing's twice as big now. So, by twice as big, I mean eight times the volume, but it's twice as long. Oh boy. Okay, I think we hit a bump or something. Alright, the final thing I want to try is landing the B-17 Flying Fortress on this thing. Because this is quite a large plane. Okay, we need to not hit that though. The... Uh oh. Oh. 
Okay, then we just went through it. Well, that wasn't a successful ending. I want to have a successful ending. Uh oh. Okay, that was my bad. Sliding to the right uncontrollably a little bit. Okay, well, I'll call that a landing right there. We kind of slid to the right a lot, but I'll call that a landing. All right, well, that's been a, a fun little look at this um, mini carrier by 50 Cow Chicken. I will have a link to this in the description so you can download it for yourself and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you next time